Hello guys, it's Rod and uh, welcome to Rod Kutsaro channel and uh, this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. So I'm going to use the traditional reader white tarot deck <clears throat> and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to tell you a couple of things. First is that this is a general reading for a Virgo star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different level with uh, every single different Virgos as you guys are different from uh, one another. You deal with different situations. Uh, next is that uh, for the duration of the months of February, uh, <clears throat> I made my prices more accessible if I may express myself that way. Well, uh, simply, you know, I slashed down the prices, reduced the prices a lot so they can be accessible to the people in need, especially in financial need. <clears throat> and uh, if you until this very moment um, wanted to have a reading with me, but uh, the pricing I had before was kind of like uh, unmanageable for your budget, well, have a look right now and maybe you're going to find them uh, attractive. So let me finish the shuffling here. And uh, we can go directly to uh, the reading. So cutting the cards, let's see what we got. The first one for you, uh, Virgo, that is going to be the page of uh, cups, followed by the second card, which is the tree of cups. So the first one is about the uh, topic of your week followed by the second card which is the things that you should not do throughout the week so what can hold you down what can kind of like uh, delay your growth and so on and so forth the third card it is about <clears throat> what you should do regarding the topic so uh, you can speed up your growth or you move into the direction of growth and the last card it is Three of Pentacles, which regards to the final outcome, in case you do follow the guidance that Tarot is giving to us. The final outcome is always a card of growth, should the guidance is um, fulfilled. So lovely, once again, we do have the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, the, uh, the Page of Swords, and the last one, this is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. All right, so leaving these cards on my table and we're gonna go through them one by one, as well as I'm going to draw additional card per each position because this is an enhanced tarot spread. But just from the overview uh, of these four cards before we go deeper into each one of them, it's um, I, uh, you are going to make a severe cleaning uh, with uh, or rather regarding the people that you are surrounding yourself with, lovers, friends, and um, uh, co-workers, and so on and so forth. Uh, basically, throughout this week with these cards, it's uh, where you simply gonna say enough is enough, you know, and uh, you are going to associate yourself, or it's advisable for you to associate yourself only with those that actually can contribute for your well-being. Um, instead of being someone who is constantly being used, okay, you are going to reposition yourself in someone who actually have a mutual benefit with those that one associate its, uh, uh, oneself with. Uh, so that uh, leads to the first card, which is the topic of your week. And we do have the page of uh, cups. And uh, the major thing here with this card is that first you are going to start feeling that a necessary change needs to happen and that this change is looming on the horizon, really. It's kind of like something that cannot be prevented and one needs to uh, adopt their position according to that change. So what happens here is that you, uh, at least for the first couple of days, you will self-absorb and analyze your emotions where you are emotionally connected and whom you are emotionally connected with. And uh, we, we should not also exclude the creative expression because the Page of Cups is also about creativity. So what you're going to see here is how to take on this change 
in a more creative fashion, if I may express myself that way, which is going to make you to stop paying big attention to the irritating minor details, but instead attend to the big overview of this change that it is coming around, the change that it is looming on the horizon, which from its point is going to make you make a crucial self reassessment and readopting your positions, all right? Regarding the people that you are involving yourself or associating yourself with. Giving you a quick example here, uh, you have so-called friends, a friend, excuse me, which constantly abuses your kindness. Well, change is coming and uh, you basically need to render incapable this so-called friend to constantly use you and give nothing in return. We're talking for mutual benefits, for a friendship that you both are giving to one another and that you are useful into one another or a partnership, relationship partnership or a, a co-worker type of relationship as well. It is simply here you are sapping um, and rendering incapable people to leech out of you, okay? And to abuse your kindness and to abuse your resources as well, especially emotional uh, resources. The additional card to the page, uh, this is going to be uh, the Eight of Pentacles. And what kind of a shade this card adds here to the page is that this process is going to be very slow and very meticulous from your behalf. I cannot say that you are going to give second chances, really, but also you are not going to lightly simply exclude people from your environment. Uh, basically, what I can tell here is, is that, as I said, that you are going to readopt your positions or place yourself in a different standpoint, in a different positions according to that change. These positions are going to be very well made, very well established, very well defined here with the eight, with the eight of pentacles. Uh, really, you are going to, point to, to show an, an acute sense of uh, human and business nature as well. And uh, with these cards, I have no doubt that when the change come, is going to be manifested exactly the way you want it to be manifested. So this is about the general topic. So the general topic is about you preparing for some sort of a, uh, a cleanup from disposing from, the, uh, from those who holds you down and uh, from those who are kind of like leeching from you. Resources and emotional devotion as well. Which leads us to the next card, and that is what you should not do throughout this week. Three of Cups. It's, um, it's a very difficult to explain with this follow-up, really. Um, basically, what the card asks you to do is not to uh, succumb yourself to the emotional exploit that those people uh, may try to play on you. In a sense of that, for example... Uh, you say to that friend which is constantly abusing your kindness that it cannot go any further than that and you cannot be friends anymore, you know. And this person says, how can you do that to me? I have no one else, you know, without you I am done, and etc., etc. Well, basically they are going to try to provoke pity in you. And also another card that they are going to play is that they will say, they will try to, to prove you that they're going to change or they will say that they're going to change with a hope that you're going to believe them. With this card on a negative position as a follow-up, that is highly, highly unlikely. Only thing that this pe these people, co-workers, um, emotional partners and so on are going to hope to achieve is to touch you really where uh, you are feeling uh, solidarity, compassion, and uh, sense of responsibility, so you don't dispose of them in, um, in another way said. Uh, now that I think of as another example, that could be as well a co-worker of yours, which constantly asks you to do their job, okay? And uh, when you refuse to do so, and they suffer the consequences, they will try to make you feel guilty that they are suffer the consequences of that they are worthless. 
it's, it doesn't make any sense, but you may be more emotional, Virgo, and you may simply kind of like succumb yourself to the idea that it, it is your fault while it isn't. So a long story short here, uh, this card asks you to not involve yourself into such a cooperations, which are purely emotionally uh, based, but also there should be some material gain from it, like a skill exchange, money exchange as well, Emo um, not emotional exchange, but more like beneficial exchange also. For example, if we're talking about a, a relationship here, if you are standing thoroughly behind your partner, uh, you need to expect that they're going to do the same thing as well. If you're giving unconditional support, that should be given as well, but not just by words and written on paper, that should be as well supported by actions, okay? And uh, the additional card here that we do have, which is the Five of Pentacles that adds a, a shade uh, to the Three of uh, Cups is that uh, you basically should stop being a Mother Teresa. It is simply that put it. And uh, instead of trying to fix the world, it will be best if you fix first and foremost your personal dramas and your personal issues rather than placing other people before you or in front of you, uh, giving them priority in front of your personal endeavors and gaining little in return after that. Maybe one thank you, but thank you isn't enough because when you need those people, they are not around, okay? Because at that point you need them, they will have another problem that they will ask you to resolve for them. It is simply you got to stop that emotional generosity that you are giving to everybody which is around you, at least according to these cards. Which leads us to the next one, that it is the right approach toward the situation. And uh, this is going to be the Page of Swords. So first of all, you need to, um, with the Page of Swords, you need to clinch or rather rely on your brilliant mind. If I may express myself that way, you need to rely on your logic. You have to be able or to analyze everything that it is told to you against the facts that you know that are of your knowing, because this is what is going to help you to overcome the uh, the false testimonials of those people which are trying to take advantage of your emotional um, kindness. OK. Second of all. This card asks you to seek such kind of friendships and partnerships that can offer you growth, that can offer you something you don't know, for example, and teach you of a certain skills. It's, it's more like being apprentices into one another. You and your future boyfriend, for example, or your current boyfriend or a girlfriend, you and your uh, co-workers, you and your friends, you need to be helpful into one another to kind of like learn from one another rather than like I said, just you giving and giving and giving and getting nothing in return. That needs to stop. And instead, you have basically you need to start surrounding yourself or leave into your social circle and into your closest um, environment. Only those that are proving useful to you with skills, with ideas, with help, especially with help, because um, with the Page of Swords, a lot of a, uh, current standpoints or convictions are going to lose relevance, uh, relevance and from it um, a new founded help comes around or a new source of help comes around, which is going to be the source of those people left at your social circle. Uh, so you're going to make a spring cleaning of your social circle and in generally of the people that you are associating yourself with for a, a much better perspective. In a sense that from now on, as soon as you do that, uh, that cleaning in your, uh, in your environment, those who have been left there are really, really going to be useful to you and together you can achieve great things. Additionally to that, as the uh, Ace of Pentacles, we do have a, another shade, a little bit baffling one because that is a, an active enemies. And uh, what that card adds as a shade is that uh, things which are in common to you 
uh, in common with uh, which, well, I have a difficulty forming that, guys. It's more like a, uh, I would try to explain it that way. You are going to be good friends or good lovers or good co-workers because everybody will mind their own business. You are going to help to each other, but you are not going to be a competition. Okay, this is what is going to consolidate and really seal the deal of this productive friendship, relationship or business partnership as well. Simply, you are not going to compete in, in, in life in general, but yet you are going to be useful into uh into one another and as soon as this is done and you really follow this um this guidance here the last card which is the final outcome manifests and that is uh, the tree of pentacles tree of pentacles points to beautiful cooperation here uh very meaningful conversations as well fruitful conversations it, it does not exclude as well criticism and productive critical feedback. For example, if you do a mistake somewhere, these people that you have left into your social circle and your closest environment are not going to be afraid to tell you where you have, uh, where you done wrong, how you done it wrong and what they think that you should do in order to correct yourself as well. That is the productive criticism as well. Uh, these people are going to be always there to support you through your development if you are developing new skill new knowledge for example and in general you are trying to clear up a path for you for a, a goal of yours they are going to never bay out to you but once again uh this all thing starts by you stop being stupidly generous okay uh with your uh with your means because this is what I can find out here. It's stupidly generous. It's kind of like, I could say that those people which are abusing you, they are, they, I could say that they almost are mocking at you for how, you know, kind and sweet you are. It's simply they don't appreciate it. And that's why you have to cut those people loose. In this week, February 11th, to February 17th and those as I said who are left there are going to with them you are now being capable to create those um, mutual experiences and cooperations which everybody is going to be useful to everybody else and together you can achieve great great things regardless if that is going to be into your career relationship or a social circle simply your social environment is going to improve big time and the additional card to the three of pentacles that is the six of uh, wands which is uh, we do form here passive neutrals and basically those pe these people that are left there are going to recognize and value you for who you are they're never going to try to abuse you and every time that you help somebody from them you will basically be going to be rewarded properly rewarded uh, according to your help and uh, on top of that what we do have here is a, a severe milestone so uh, if you are trying to push a certain endeavor and you need help for it that help is going to come from these people and through that help that could come around as in an advice, you know, fruitful conversations, as I said, or yeah, productive feedback. Uh, you will be able to reach a, a solid milestone regarding your business endeavor or your relationship as well. So that being said, Virgo, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, to remind you that for the duration of February, all the prices of all the services are reduced severely so I can make those services more accessible for the people in need, especially financial need. And uh, that being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.